Hi guys, welcome back. This is Betty with Betty's Custom Designs. And if you are new here, welcome and thank you for joining today. And for all of you that are my subscribers that just keep coming back to see how much I can mess something up. Thank you guys. I love you. Look, wait. Nah, forget it. I can, still can't do the heart. Okay. So today I, um, I am working on a bunch of these um, envelope challenge boxes and what they are and I have them in the 26 week I have them in the 52 week and the 100 and so it's the um, it is the little box it is the laminated um, challenge card and it comes with the envelopes and this one is a 26, so it comes with the little laminated envelopes. Yep, there's the labels that your cash will just fit right down into. And then these fit perfectly down in the box. So I figured um, I would show you guys how I do them because when I make them, I actually make several hundred at one time. I am not going to make you guys sit here and watch me make several hundred right this minute. I've kind of got some stuff done and then I'll fast forward through, you know, I'll put some of it on, um, you know, like the speed. All right, so let me get this back in there. Let me get this sealed down now. And that one is ready to go. Okay, but... This is just some of the ones that I've already got made. So I've got um, these. There's a couple of different designs in here. But whenever you order um, a challenge box, I cannot guarantee which one, you know, what set you'll get. But I can tell you that it will come from the same paper pad. And then I normally will ask. Um, I'll normally send a message and ask, you know, is there anything in particular that you like? Because if there's any way that I can meet that, um, I will do so. Let me show you one other paper. This is just a bunch of them in here. I'm just storing them. So I've got this collection over here. Um, this is from the paper studio. So these still need to be packaged um, and put into boxes. But they're ready to go. So I always start with um, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper or, you know, um, cardstock, anything like that. So that's what I've got here. And um, so this is just some that I've got. Um, and I will show you how I get started. So I normally take my 12 by 12. And I will cut, let's see where I've been cutting on the loops. Throw that away. And so I will cut this at 6 by 12. And then I will take it. And then I will cut it at 6 by 6. So I basically start off with 6 by 6. Then once I get them into the 6 by 6, and I'm just going to switch over to this pink because that's one thing I'm already kind of working on. I then take, and I think I want it to go this way, I then fold it in half. And I'm just going to do two like this for right this second. And so I fold them in half. And then I take my bone folder and I get them really good and um, uh, squished down. You know, you want to make sure that you have them done really good. So now I have um three by six that are folded in half and it's just um it just makes it a little easier in the folding i don't have to fold as much and so then i take those um, pieces there and i cut mine at two and three quarters and it still it holds the um cash but it gives me a little bit of wiggle room in the box so then all I'm going to do is I am just going to cut them all down and I'm, I will um, 
kind of speed through this. So now that I've showed you how I'm doing it, I am going to um, fast forward this part of the video so that you guys don't have to sit here and watch me just trim all of these to two and three quarters. And I'll be back. Okay guys, so now I have um, all of those cut. And so now you can see where they are starting to look more like the envelopes. So the next thing that I am going to do is I use the Scott laminating pouches. And I use the three mil and I've had very good success with those. And so I'm just gonna grab some out. And then what I do And so I will take one and I will open it up and then I take my um, envelopes and I take the opened um, edge of it. Got a thing from where I done the seal the other thing. I hate those things. They stick to you. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay. So I take the open edge and I put it as tight up against that fold area there. And so what I do is I make sure that all of my open edges are facing that same direction. And so I'm just going to line all of these onto my um, pouch here. And so I will work on getting this done and then I will... Um, Fast forward through this part as well. So again, you guys don't have to sit here and watch me um, do this because it does take a few minutes. Um, so right now it is 11.52. I should have told you guys what time it was whenever um, I started so that y'all would know exactly how long it does take to make these. Um, and like I said, these are not hard to make at all, um, but when you see the cost of them on Etsy, the reason they are the cost that they are is because it is very time consuming. Um, you know, as far as difficulty, not difficult at all, but very time consuming. So I am going to go ahead and speed the rest of this part right here up and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. It is now 12 o'clock. So it took me not quite 10 minutes to get that little stock done. Normally, I do a lot more at one time. I'll get a whole bunch cut, and then I'll get a whole bunch folded, and then I'll do an entire paper pad at one time. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier for me. I like to do things like in a mass make. Um, so that's why I do that. So now I've got my laminator here and I have it heating up. And uh, let me see. I was looking to see. Oh, no. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to simply start feeding this through the laminator. I do have um, a couple more laminators um, that whenever I am making them and I'm not filming, 
I do, I'll have several sheets going through at one time. And this is the first pass through the laminator because once I get them all cut out, I will actually run them through the laminator again before I put them into the boxes. Um, I just want, I like to make sure that they're sealed very good. And so um, I run it through here for that, the original first seal. And then once I get that first seal, um, then I will run it through again um, right before it gets put into the box for um, packaging. So I am going to do the same thing here. I am just going to um, let this run. I will speed this part of it up. So it is 12.02 and so I will come back and we will continue. Okay guys, so I've got all of those laminated as you can see here. So now it's time for the next step. And what I do is I just, to make it easier for me to handle, I just kind of go through and cut them like this. And this is not something you have to do, but this is just a way for them to be easier for me to handle. And this don't take but just a, so, oh, and it is 12-12. So that took about 10 minutes to do as well. So let me just run through this. And so you see it's I'm almost done with this part. It helps if you have good sharp scissors because it just goes right through it. Okay, and so now I have them into these long strips of three. So when you're looking at these, um, I don't know if you guys can see. So this is the top because you can see the there's not a lot. Let me see if I got some colored here. Here's an envelope. Maybe that'll help. No, probably not. I was trying to get it to where you guys can see, but that's the short edge up there. You can see I've got a lot more um, down here. So I know that this is the top of each of mine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right along that top there. So that's the top. And then I'm going to do that to the second one and the third one. And I'll do one more on camera and then I will do the rest um, sped up. So I cut the top off of that one, cut it right there on that one, and right there on that one. So I can I already know what the top is on each of them. So let me do one more. I lied. I'm going to do one more, and then I will speed the video up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to keep cutting these and um, getting them all um, done like that, and then I will be right back.
Okay, guys, so I have gone through and I've got um, all of them cut out individually now. And I got them all facing the same direction, I think, I hope. <laughs> I'm sorry about shaking the camera. Lord. All right, so now the next thing that I do is I start cutting them. And how I cut them is I take the top edge that I've already cut and then I line, I don't know if you guys can see. I'll try and get you in a little closer. Let me see if I can do it a little closer for you guys. Okay. I'm going to have to move this. So let me, let me turn this this way maybe. All right. So what I do is I take and I line my paper up with the edge of my um, trimmer and so with each trimmer you'll have to um, you will have to test your own trimmer to see where it cuts because you do not want to cut into I don't know if you guys can see that little um, area right there the light shining on it's actually helping you do not want to cut into that at all because if you do it will just open your um envelope up so i line it up right even with my um scoreboard and then i cut and then i do the same thing for the bottom and then i do the same thing for this side so i have the same amount all the way around and then for my top what i do is I line it up to where, let me see if you guys can see, I'm trying to keep it from glaring. I'm trying my hardest, guys, I promise. Okay, so see, I've lined the paper, not the plastic, but I've lined the paper up with two and seven eighths. And so I do that, and then I'm going to cut the top again. And what that's going to do, it's going to give me a good um, even size all the way around. Um, and so it'll look better setting in the, um, in the box. So I'm going to do one more here on camera. And then I will do the same thing. I will um, speed the rest of it up. And then we will come back to finish. And so, and now I'm lining it up to two and seven eighths, the paper edge, not the plastic edge. And there we go. All right, so I am going to um, keep working on these. I will speed this part up and I will be back.
Okay, guys, so I am back, and I have already, as you can see, they're all already laminated and cut out, but the last thing that I like to do um, before I package these up is because in sometimes, let me see if I got any that's open, um, sometimes whenever you are doing this, they will open a little bit. And of course, I don't have any right now, but um, I'll just show you what I do before I get them packaged up and out the door. So I have my laminator again, and then I just take and I, um, I run the closed side, not the open side. I run it down through the laminator, just like that. And then I use my bone folder. And so when these come out, I will take my bone folder and I will go right along that seam there. And so what that does is while it's still hot, it will press it on in together. And if there was any issue with the seal, there won't be now. So you can see how good and sealed it is. Let me see, I, th I thought I had one. I really thought I had one that had come open. And of course, because I want to show you guys what to do to fix that, I'm not going to be able to find it. That's how it always works. Now, if I had wanted them all to be closed, I would have at least 15 open. Well, guys, I guess you're going to have to take my word on it because... You know what? I have one. I know I have some right here. Because like I said, I run these through. Okay, here's one. So you see this one is slightly open right there. So I'm going to run this through the laminator. And while it's still hot, I am going to take and I'm going to crease it down really good with my bone folder. And see, it's perfectly closed now. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that is all for today's video. I am going to continue getting these laminated. I'm going to get these into a box. And um, because this is a pink theme, it's not like my regular, um, the regular ones, I will probably list this um, separately on my Etsy. And um, I, what I'll try to do is go ahead and get it listed before I actually um, upload the video. And so um, that link will be below. And I need to count and see... Um, how many boxes of this I can do. It may, it may be just one box, or I may be able to do two of the 26 count boxes, um, but I will um, have all of that information um, listed down below so that if you want to get this, you can. Um, these do ship out right away. Now, my turnaround time on my Etsy. I believe it shows like five to seven days or something. I don't take that long on these. I haven't even been taking that long on the envelopes. I've been trying to stay on top of it and get them out almost as soon as, um, almost as soon as I get the order in. Um, it just makes it easier for me if I can do that. So, um, yeah. So if you want to get one of the boxes. I do have several that are right ready to ship. These will be listed separately and I will link it below. And yep, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just going to keep working on these and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.